In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Sing unto the Lord a new song. 
The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 16th chapter. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you ask me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they did not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. For He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak. And He will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify Me, for He will take what is Mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ.
mercy and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. So far, the text. The inclination of our human nature at times includes spirited boasting in our accomplishments and arrogant trust in self. We may not go so far as to imply that we are incapable of error, but we may have little time for someone else who seeks to speak with us about our shortcomings. On the other hand, as consumers, you may know honorable producers who confidently offer their products for sale, yet meekly acknowledge the possibility of shortcomings. The phrase, quality guaranteed or your money back, may even be explicitly stated on a box or in a store window. I recall receiving pleasant refunds, even expressions of regret, and a complimentary substitute. But I've also had less pleasant experiences. I hear from you that you have as well. A diligent search of the products in the pantry this week found boast after boast about each company's virtuous conduct, and spectacular products. But only one money-back guarantee. Again and again, I saw that if I were to have, quote, questions or concerns, unquote, about my product, some items suggested that I visit their website. Others said nothing at all. Humans whose spirited confidence in self does not submit even to human review will not relate to the ministry of the Holy Spirit who, through James, exhorts us to receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. Do not be deceived. Every good and every perfect gift is from above. Patience and humility toward neighbors comes down from the Father of lights. But every hasty and harsh word together with all filthiness and rampant wickedness, comes from our own sinful nature. We poor sinners must honestly say before God that we have fallen short of the righteousness that He requires. Therefore, we are led by the Holy Spirit, to highly value God's good and perfect gifts, including the holy baptism. As Lutherans, we confess that a truly Christian life is nothing other than a daily baptism, once begun on the date of our holy baptism, and ever to be continued through daily praying, forgive us our trespasses, as Jesus has taught us to do, even frequently receiving holy absolution. For receiving the benefits of baptism must be done without ceasing. We always keep purging away whatever belongs to our sinful nature. Then, what comes down from the Father, by the work of the Holy Spirit, may come forth. Martin Luther says that baptism, both in its power and meaning, includes also 
the third sacrament of holy absolution, which has been called repentance. It is really nothing other than baptism. What else is repentance but a serious attack on the sinful nature that, to give but one example, his arrogance is restrained. Jesus says, Truly, truly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Though sinful by nature, humans are able to live an outwardly decent life, even when potential questions or comments are acknowledged, we may rarely comment as many products are reasonably satisfying for a time. But when we are inwardly hungering and thirsting for the grace of God, we have reason for an enduring joy. For by his death and resurrection, Christ has saved us from the consequences of every shortcoming, every imperfection, even those hidden inside. He is the Lord over all things, and therefore your sins are forgiven. And he will graciously deliver us from our present afflictions. Even the hasty or harsh words or works of human arrogance. Christ is risen, alleluia. He is risen indeed, alleluia. May the peace of God, which passeth all human understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Gracious Lord, you have revealed your righteousness in the sight of the nations. Christ Jesus, your holy arm. By his death and resurrection, you have worked salvation. Strengthen the song of your church. Give skills to musicians and poets and give boldness to your congregation in this and every place to sing the eternally new song of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. O Holy One of Israel, cause your spirit of truth to reign in the church, that what Christ has won for us would be declared joyfully and faithfully to sinners. Preserve our pastors, missionaries, and all who serve with your word, Increase among us thankfulness for your compassion, for you are great in our midst. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Father of lights, every good and perfect gift comes down from you. By your Spirit, put away from our families and communities every hasty or harsh word, together with all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and instead give us patience and humility toward our neighbors. Since you have brought us forth by the word of your truth, so let us speak truthfully with one another in meekness as beloved brothers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, your Son acknowledged Satan as ruler of this world and its ways, yet one whose reign is judged and whose time is short. Beat back his lies and deadly work, that the order of your creation may be seen. Give us good government and leaders who are both honest and faithful. Even so, let us look eagerly for your son's return, and let that be quickly. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear the prayers of intercession we offer in the unity of your Holy Spirit, our Advocate and Comforter, especially for those on our prayer list and those we need now in our own hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, send your Holy Spirit upon your faithful people, that convicted of their sin, they may also be convinced that the righteousness of Christ is theirs, and in such repentance and faith, receive the things of Christ declared in his holy supper, his body and precious blood for the forgiveness of sins. Unite us by your spirit of truth in faith and confession, and comfort us with the knowledge that this world's prince is judged. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, through your Son you promised your Holy Spirit, who would convince the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Enlighten our hearts so that we may confess our sins, obtain everlasting righteousness through faith in Christ, and through every trial and temptation, abide in the consolation that Christ is Lord over the devil, death, and all things, and that he will graciously deliver us from all affliction to make us partakers of eternal salvation. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.